Previously on Super Idols RPG. After Angie successfully punched Prophetess and gave her a piece of her mind, Rhythmix finished their weekend at Camp Grandstar with a round of training. With help from Prophetess's adaptable dream space and Conduit's power enhancement, all the members discovered aspects of their powers they hadn't previously discovered. This was all well and good, but the members couldn't help still feeling a bit disgruntled about the whole thing. And as they woke from the dream space, the group all saw a brief, abstract vision. One that showed great happiness and harmony, but also something threatening on the horizon. But let's not worry about that yet. The gang's earned a reward! A day trip to Splash World Water Park! It's beach episode time, baby! Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Super Idols RPG. As always, I'm your GM, Aaron Cerise, and with me today are Dana. Hello. T. Hello. Drac. Hey. Luca. Hello. And Liv. Hello. Hey. Oh. Let's just end the session now, right? We're all a little tired today, which is fitting. Yeah, let's just have a very chill session where nothing terrible happens. We just yeah. have a behind-the-scenes chat, imagine. <laughs> 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 That's just the whole episode. <laughs> just us talking app. about our days. <laughs> yeah. Like, kind of like the like actors interview, we just interview our characters because this whole thing's been a show, so our characters just like come out of character and just okay. talk about what it's like. <laughs> Everybody yeah. shuffle off to get between the ferns. <laughs> yeah, Jane is actually a complete arsehole, like the worst person. <laughs> He's like smoking a cigarette. Just like, honestly, I can't stand a single one of them. Like, you know, <laughs> He's not even British. I can't work on these conditions. <laughs> Oh my god, please, because then Drag would have to do an American accent. And oh that's god. comedy. I would only do an American accent if you do a British one, Liv. <laughs> Not a British one, an Essex one. An Essex one. Essex? Yes. Oh no, I don't even know if I remember any of it. I don't remember. I don't know how to do it. I taught you. What do you mean? I gave you all the, I gave you the lessons in slang as well. <laughs> I wow. know. I know the slang, but that's it. <laughs> Anyway, welcome on, everybody. Oh, hi. Hi. This is the energy we're heading into today's session with. <laughs> Just to give your, the audience some context. <laughs> we always manage to pep each other up somehow. <laughs> to just... give each other the energy we need for... Yes. <laughs> I feel like a balloon with helium that's like, didn't get tied off, so it's going up, but it's also falling apart at the same time. <laughs> that's, actually, that's a very good way that's to perfect. wear it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, so why don't we just do a whole session where, uh, where nothing, nothing matters and the points are made up? Um, it's <laughs> it's a fun in the sun episode. <laughs> you may have guessed from whatever we're titling this episode. I don't know. It's going to be something beachy. <laughs> Should call it the obligatory beach episode. Yes. yes. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. There it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, no, the plan for this episode is we did all the serious stuff. You got all your your deep training and character development and adventuring out of the way. Um and now your weekend has come to a close. Um you you're on the way back. <laughs> to cadence um and you get your just rewards for all of that um it's um it's monday afternoon and you have a an official pass off from school for the day to be at this camp so you get to just head to cadence's own splash world water park for an afternoon of fun in the sun oh, oh, yeah. in september in September. In September. <laughs> yeah. It is worth noting, Splash World Water Park is an indoor water park. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so, 
so we don't need our sunscreen. Yeah, well, it has skylights. I'm bringing my sunscreen (laughs) just to be, like, really get, like, immersed in the atmosphere. Yeah, Mm -hmm. good idea. Angie's going to do that, too. (laughs) She's, like, SPF 150 or something. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no, it has, like, big skylights, so you're still actually getting sun. But, yes, you don't have to worry about it being cold outside. It's temperature controlled. Because time moves too slowly in this campaign, and it's going to take forever for us to get to real summer, so this is the closest we can get. (laughs) Can't wait to have our beach episode at this water park. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) (laughs) We will have a time skip eventually, I swear to God. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to have to do one for a summer episode, beach episode, but for real this time. (laughs) For parentheses, but for real this time. Beach Beach episode two, Electric Boogaloo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which will probably be literally electric at the time because Jaden will have probably mastered his electricity by then. Oh, God, no. I'm not bringing any electricity to a water park. That's just a mass murder waiting to happen. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> then you'll just fully complete your, like, um... My Deku. Jaden is secretly <laughs> Deku. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we should pair it with a road trip episode. Just throwing that out there. Oh, yes, we <laughs> yeah, take a road like a trip because Cadence oh. isn't located near a beach, so we road trip to the beach. Mm-hmm. Who yeah, you have to like actually go us. to a real beach. <laughs> Who would drive us? That's a good point. We take Karen the bus everywhere. <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> That's <is very> yeah. <laughs> Karen. No, yeah, Karen would take Karen. you. Oh, I heard Aaron. I was like, <laughs> Aaron, Aaron are you the GM Aaron? will will cut and paste you from your location and put you on the beach. No, I thought you meant like Aaron, the GM will put herself in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron is canon. Didn't you know that? That's not going to work very well because Aaron, the GM, can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have a driver's ed episode where we all learn how to drive and then we do road trip. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was the best episode of Dragon Ball Z, so that checks out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lucia famously will not be a part of this. She is 15. <laughs> God, this whole episode is going to be a shit post and it's going to be great. It is. It is. <laughs> We're doing this it is where all our immortalized memes are going to come from, is this episode. <laughs> no pressure, everyone. But anyway, <laughs> why, don't we get to this, why don't we get to this dang water park? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically, after you got out of your dream coma, which you had a very ominous uh, vision at the end of that, by the way, that probably means something, but who cares? Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. We can worry about that later. <laughs> yes, that's plot stuff for later. This, that's not what this episode is about. Um, so you were like, oh, that was weird. And then you spent the rest of the Sunday just hanging out at the lodge. There's plenty of stuff to do at the lodge, so you weren't obligated to do anything else the rest of that day. You got to spend the night in your your nice, nice hotel room. That's probably where Karen spent most of the day after you finished, by the way, because she did not join you for the dream training. And she was real tired after trekking through the forest labyrinth with the way Karen is as a person. <laughs> yeah. But now on Monday, everybody's spirits are a bit lifted. Everybody's well rested. And as we said before the session started, your characters were all able to clear up to two conditions because they're now a day removed from all of their stress. <laughs> At least in name only. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mechanically, everyone's relieved. So Angie removed afraid and angry, but she still feels insecure. Hmm. I removed guilty and hopeless. Oh, yeah. Does anybody um, still have conditions? Oh, I uh, still do. Me? I still have two conditions. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Lucia is unbothered. <laughs> no, I only had one, so I'm down to zero. <laughs> oh, the life of a Nova. It's fine. I'm a Nova. I need to be traumatized at all the costs. That's the way my power really works. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. Go to therapy, please. <laughs> Nah, I'm piled by my trauma. It's okay. Without it, I have nothing. Anyway, let's get started. You're powered by your own internal apocalypse. <laughs> yes. Okay, anyway, so yes, it's it's Monday. You're packing out of the Greyhound or whatever at, at the entrance to Splash World Water Park and getting into the building. You get all your, like, wristbands because I'm sure they'll give you a wristband. They always do. And... 
you head into the wondrous environment of this indoor water park that is filled to the brim. You can see on the Roll20 <laughs> that it's loosely based on the West Edmonton Mall World Water Park because that's what the GM has experience with and that's what the GM is going to use. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's full of big water slides, different play areas, lounge areas. There's a big wave pool in the middle, lots of fake sand everywhere and fake trees and whatnot. <laughs> there's big skylights up top. And of course, there's concession bars all around. So this is the environment you find yourselves in. So I ask the all important RPG question. What do you do? He wants to raise me down the water slide. Oh, you're on. Lucia just stares at Jaden and then pulls her sunglasses further, to, like from on top of her head down to her face, and just starts walking the other way. No, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually do have uh, one more very important question, which is, uh, what is everyone wearing? Yeah, was I was just about to ask. Uh, I want to know. Thank you, bestie. Fashion week moments. <laughs> Let's go. Let me seem excited. So what was Lucia wearing? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> thank you. I'm so glad you asked. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Lucia has on just like the biggest oversized rose gold tinted sunglasses. You know, she has an aesthetic. She has a theme. And she's wearing a two piece uh, bikini. And it's like all frills and bows. It's pink itself, but the frills and the bows are white. And the bottoms are designed to kind of look like a little skirt. You know what I mean? Like, it's the bottom with a little skirt. I know people know what I'm describing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. She's got a bag that is full of snacks that she definitely smuggled in. And of course, like, sunscreen and stuff, because, like, you know, you still gotta protect your skin. She's got on, like, platform flip-flops. So she's... They're flip-flops, but she's much taller than she usually is. They also have little puffs on them and little bows. And she is ready to go. Oh my god, that's precious. I love that. Jaden is wearing uh, just a pair of um, swim trunks. They're bright red and black. I think they're definitely like Bob on Bros merch for sure. <laughs> uh, so, so, so you just have like little, I guess like little explosions going on around his swim trunks. Nice. He's got just that adorable just splotch of sunscreen on the bridge of his nose. Obviously, the rest of your body is actually is properly covered in sunscreen. No matter how melanated you are, please wear sunscreen. Um, please, everyone who's listening. Period. Um, <laughs> um, so it's thoroughly sunscreened up, but also has like the white splotch going on on his nose as well. <laughs> he's also got his own sunglasses that are black lenses with red frames. And I think he probably has a beach ball under his arm as well right now. He came with his own toys. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Angie is wearing, it's kind of like, um, I guess a vintage style. Um, it's quite popular right now, but it's basically like a halter on the top and then the bottom. It's in bathing suit material, but they're kind of like short boy shorts. But it looks all very like rockabilly style and stuff like that. And it's high waisted, so it's kind of a bikini, but it's kind of not. So there's only like a little bit of strip in, of skin in the middle. And then on top of that, she's wearing like a huge sun hat that she got from her mom. Nice. Because she has no melanin, so she's like lathered on a huge amount of the strongest sunscreen that you can find. Yeah, and then she just has, like, a pair of flip-flops on and, like, one of those big beach bags that she just has an obscene amount of stuff that you would normally not bring to the beach in there. <laughs> yeah, like, there's just... Why is that in there? It just is. You just come prepared, just in case. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Yeah, and she's also got sunglasses on. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Valerie is... Wearing a um, vertical striped one-piece swimsuit that's black and purple stripes. It, it also looks kind of like, you know, a vintage sort of swimsuit where it looks almost more like a tight-fitting dress than a swimsuit and has a black sarong wrapped around her waist. And also, of course, still has a large, like, sun hat over her face. Yes, I was about to ask if the sun hat was still there. <laughs> uh, Queen Bee is going vintage too. She's wearing like a, a 
50s style beating suit, the ones that look kind of like uh, a romper. Um, it looks like black and yellow polka dots, but if you look closer, it's actually a pattern of bees. <laughs> and uh, over that, she's wearing a very light, very flowy, diva style uh, saffron robe with uh, white sleeves. And of course, a yellow sun hat. Sun hat. Very wide. God, this group is so fashionable. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and the big diva sunglasses, maybe even bigger than last time. Yes. I feel like if you have the power to change your clothes into whatever you want, you would absolutely do that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I guess I should ask. I'm not going to worry about the stats part of this because I don't feel like it, um, but who, who's transformed and who's not for this? Yeah, no, Jaden just has all of this, this stuff. He bought all of this merch and he wants to flaunt it. Yeah. <laughs> I think Angie's transformed because just that perk of having, you know, a free wardrobe that you don't even have to, like go through the closet and change or buy anything new you can just do it she would just mm -hmm. be like i'll just do that <laughs> yeah you don't have to worry about like fiddling in like the small change stalls or whatever they give you like yeah exactly just just waltz like, on i'm through. not gonna go buy a new bathing suit i'll just make one god bathing suits are a scam anyway so good on they you they are they are wholeheartedly um yeah no everybody's making extremely valid points and so lucia's definitely transformed Primarily because one doesn't have to actually go into the bathroom and change. Fantastic. Love it. Two, she doesn't have to worry about wearing her hair in a protective style when she's swimming if she's a super Ooh, idol. True. Yeah. Her Ooh. hair is protected. <laughs> wow. It'll go back to normal when you untransform. Listen, oh my god, they don't they want us to be average, okay? <laughs> like her pH balance for her curls are fine. <laughs> oh wow. Now I'm jealous anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she's thinking like, wow, this that's such a pre wow, it's great. <laughs> so it's it sounds like everybody's transformed except Jaden, so that's good. <laughs> As yeah. usual. Yeah. I I'd assume VV is. <laughs> no, I I think I was gonna say hmm. Oh, it yeah, I think if, if everyone's going as a group, she would transform, yeah. Yeah, well, you, you don't have to if you if you weren't planning on it. Yeah, I think it would just be fun if Valerie is not transformed, and she's just, like, absolutely self-conscious in her swimsuit, and, like, trying to look like she doesn't, she doesn't care, like she always does, but, like, the face is absolutely beet red as they're entering the park area and looking around. Aww... Anyways, yes, now that we have a proper mental picture of what everybody looks like, and we know the absolute rejection that has happened in this moment, the second they step <laughs> into the main area, um, <laughs> what, what is everybody doing? Other than not going with Jaden, I guess. Are <laughs> everybody, somebody go with Jaden. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, you don't have to. <laughs> um, anyway, no. <laughs> uh, Lucia's gonna go... The most important part, you gotta go grab a spot, right? So she's gonna walk past the water slide and pick an area over by the wave pool that is close to the entrance of the water slide while also being in the shade just picking the ultimate spot also in the shade near the wave pool mm -hmm. yeah the good thing about coming with a camp is that like you're not competing with like a whole like normal day's worth of customers and also it's a Monday so you have pretty good leeway to pick the best spot that you want exactly <laughs> oh wait this is with the camp right so is Sagittaria yeah. here they are. Uh, okay. Don't ask me what they're wearing. I don't have the brain power for that. <laughs> That's valid. It doesn't matter. They don't look good as, a, as good as us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. we found the good spot. Thanks, <laughs> Lucia. This is awesome. <laughs> eh, well, you know. And she, like, flops down in one of the chairs and lays back and relaxes. <laughs> that good, good sun through mm -hmm. the windows above. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot this is outside. Anyway, same energy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is still. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the warp slide. I'm just going to just chuck his stuff, just all of his belongings onto the nearest um, um, lounge chair and just run to the water slide. Like some yeah. sand kicks <laughs> up and, and, and she's trying <laughs> to put on her sunscreen. So then she's just like... Uh. 
because now it's like sunscreen and grainy and then she's just like whatever <laughs> uh, we're at the beach <laughs> yeah I think Valerie's gonna like hesitate a moment and then and then follow because yeah that's you can't go to a water park and not go on the water slides <laughs> and I have to ask since half the fun of uh, going to a water park is also go- going on different types of slides. Are you going for the big scary slide or like the normal safe slide? Ooh, that's a good question. I want to go on a big scary slide. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big scary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the one with like, there's, there's one with like the loop-de-loop there. I can see Jin doing that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Feller's going to follow along. Yeah, and Angie is at first acting like she totally doesn't care about the water slides, but you can tell she keeps, like, looking over at them like she kind of wants to do it. And then you kind of see the face determination change where she's like, fine, I'm going to do it. And then she just follows, (laughs) like, further behind (laughs) to the big scary water slide. I think, like, Lucia, like, tilts her sunglasses down, kind of looks at Angie and is just like, you can go. Like, if you want to, (laughs) you should go. I will. And then she just kind of awkwardly stands up and goes. (laughs) (laughs) Before going, Queen Bee leaves the robe and the hat uh, next to Lucia. Cool. Now, I'm curious also about Queen Bee, by the way. You let me know before session that Queen Bee hasn't detransformed since before coming to the camp. Yep. Oh boy. Yeah, it's been Queen Bee 24 7. Now I'm curious to know how Queen Bee is feeling about that. She's not really thinking that much about it. It's just this is an idle thing. This has been a, a whole idle thing, so. But it kind of feels like when you've been awake a lot and first you're tired and then you get to that other part that's beyond tired and you're energized again. Mm hmm. Like you get your second wind. Yes, but you can tell that it's not exactly a good second wind. It's just that uh, buzzing with energy. Yeah, no, it's that uh, Red Bull second wind. <laughs> a little bit. The deliria. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, she's a little uh, overcharged. And also, while she's uh, on top of the water slide, she's going to look around and try and see what Sagittarius is doing. Mm-hmm. Specifically, she's looking for Dame Divine. Oh... They're, they're kind of spread out doing their own thing. I mean, there's at the end of the day, they're still teenagers. They don't spend their entire day scheming against you. Amateurs. <laughs> so some of them are at the water slides. Some of them are in the wave pool. I think Dame Divine Rosette probably would be in the lounge area as well. She's laying on one of the chairs and she's reading. Well, it's not summertime, but she's reading like a what would be a summertime novel. I'm going to pay her a visit later. Mm hmm. <laughs> As far as, like, key other members, I think you can see Tyra up at the snack bar, and she's getting, like, a fancy, obviously non-alcoholic drink, but she's getting, like, a fancy soda, and she's up there with Cameron. It kind of looks like he's being a little clingy with her. (laughs) Not in a creepy way, but almost like a hench person kind of (laughs) way. Oh, I was gonna say that, like, social feeling of, like, I cannot be alone. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He knows who the person in charge is, and... (laughs) He wants to mm-hmm. do what he can to do what he can for them. Mm-hmm. Hey, so do you, you all came along. Are we bracing? Or are we just going down? I think we should brace. Why not? Sure, you, I'm in. Oh, okay. How how do you how do you race water slides? Um, if you're going to scare you, maybe you could time how long it takes for us to get down, and whoever gets down fastest wins. <laughs> or we can go in that easier one, that, that one over there, and it just points to the two purple ones that are like alongside each other. We could go in that one there, that would be a bit easier to race down. But this one has a leaps. Uh, oh, all right. Um, does anybody have a, like a stopwatch or whatever? Um, no. I think my, I have my phone, but I left that down with Lucia. Y- yeah, me too. M- maybe we just go down the water slide. Okay. I just don't think we can race. Well, we can get points for style. Yeah, maybe what Karen is doing is she's stand- you can see her at the bottom of the slide um, and looking like she's in her best like water slide style judge mode. <laughs> like she's got a clipboard <laughs> somehow. She's got a little whistle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
She has like the inner. She's like holding her hands up on either side, just waiting to like go and like drop them. She is, <laughs> by the way, wearing like an oversized t shirt with a vintage 80s idol print, kind of like tied at the waist. Um, and she's got loose <laughs> beach shorts and flip flops. Mm, yeah. And her hair is very loosely tied back in a ponytail. Icon. Yeah, I can see we're, we're like, at getting close to the top of the slide and, and arguing about how or whether we can time it. And then we, he- we hear a whistle and we look down and Karen's waving at us with a, <laughs> with a clipboard. <laughs> and a stopwatch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it almost looks like Angie's clipboard, but it would never... <laughs> We yeah, never. <laughs> she gives the universal hand signal for I am a trained water slide contest judge. <laughs> right, right. We all recognize that. Yes, of course. Yeah. Wow, Karen, always full of surprises. Okay, let's go. And Jane's going to immediately jump down and slide down the water slide. Um, all right. And are you actually competing or, or are you just going down for fun? Oh, definitely competing. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. so we can use our fun custom move that I wrote, well, not wrote, but adapted just for this session. Yay! <laughs> What's this move, Aaron? <laughs> it's called Fun in the Sun, and it's based loosely on a move from Critical Bits called Surf and Science. Obviously, we took the science part out of it, but the general gist of it is when you compete with your friends in a fun summer activity... You choose a stat to roll with based on whatever you're trying to do to look cool or gain an advantage. Justify why you're rolling that stat with your character's actions and roll to see if you succeed. On a hit, you succeed and you gain one cool point and you choose an option from the list. On a 10 plus, you choose an additional option from the list. On a miss, your action fails and you lose one cool point. Oh, no. The winner of the activity is whoever has the most cool points whenever everyone gets bored. Okay. Um, <laughs> so while I'm running towards um, the entrance of this water slide, this, um, this terrifying water slide, can I transform? Yes. <laughs> just before I enter it. <laughs> yes, you um, can. And dive down. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to bump up Superior, because I managed to convince everyone to race me. <laughs> and knock down savior because I'm very right now I'm not thinking about having to protect anyone I'm just thinking about having fun <laughs> nice and I have and yeah. to ask does your fun in the sun outfit change in any way <laughs> oh god I, <laughs> yes I think it does I think everything just seems way brighter like he was already wearing like bright red shorts but they just seem even brighter like it's just ridiculous at this point um, if I may, if I may. Yes, please. I think the explosion patterns change color based off of whatever element you are using. Yes. <laughs> yes. I like that, actually, yeah. So the, yeah, the explosion pattern along his um, shorts. There's nothing major, but like, you notice it when he um, uses his different abilities that they change color depending on what they are. <laughs> yeah, and then he throws himself down the water slide. <laughs> and oh, I'm going to roll. Elementum has a major advantage at a water park. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> honestly, honestly, cheating. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say the like, rules. <laughs> I'm not even there. <laughs> cue, cue, a cue cut to Lucio, who has waited until everybody was gone to abandon our spot. I mean, it's still there. <laughs> and she makes a hard light inner tube and is just, like, lounging and floating in the wave pool. The <laughs> happiest you've ever seen her. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna use Freak to seem cool here. I'm gonna speed myself up by controlling the water that's going yes. down this water slide. <laughs> Go for it. Oh boy, let's see if it even works, though. Oh, yeah, well, that, that it did. <laughs> That's an 11. So as he goes down his water slide, I think what actually happens is that at first he's using the water slide that's underneath him, like through this water slide, to push himself through. But then you start noticing that um, like everyone who's waiting for him to like, go through the slide and have their turn, they start seeing water kind of like crawling up the stairs and <laughs> also forcing its way down the slide from wherever. Like oh, any activity no. nearby, like forcing water from there down this singular water slide as well to push him down faster and faster and he just kind of <laughs> shoots out from the bottom and skids across the surface of the water and then kind of eventually comes to a stop and sinks before 
<laughs> Pop it back up. Time. I think I'm my personal best. <laughs> Karen clicks the stopwatch and gives you a thumbs up. So you get one cool point and you get to pick Ooh. two options from the fun in the sun list. Oh, okay. I'm going to gain an additional cool point. Yeah. For me. And me as a drac and me as Jaden want to do different things. I'm going to add plus one to someone's next fun in the sun roll. All right. <laughs> Yeah, so I think the words that still be like coming out from other nearby <laughs> activities to make your slide go faster. So whoever kind of goes next gets that plus one. All right. And so- Angie's going next. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like that. And then Angie like <laughs> pulls out a hair tie off of her wrist and then just ties her hair up. And I guess uh, she can't control the water, but... She is physical, so she could just, like, I don't know, anticipate the bumps and stuff and the turns a little better and just yeet yourself from the top, just, like, (laughs) full-heartedly throw your body. (laughs) Yeah, that's what she's doing. Um, She's not just going to jump off from the top because, you know, there's, like, little kids around and stuff, and her mom would totally kill her. And... She needs to follow at least some of the rules of the game that she thought at least had some rules. Like, I thought we all had an understanding. But uh, she's like, fine, two can play at that game. And uh, she's just gonna, I guess, use her bolt. Like, maybe she just pushes herself down further. <laughs> yeah, just uses her strength to push herself. Yeah, to just make herself even faster. <laughs> All right. And what stat do you think that maps to? What I want to do is directly engage a threat and use danger. <laughs> You're attacking the water slide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the threat is losing the race. Ooh. That's true. Yeah. I agree. Thank you, Liv. <laughs> <laughs> I think because you're going down the slide so aggressively, I would let that be a danger roll. <laughs> You're welcome. I, too, am just like Lucia, vibing over here in my own space, watching this free show for <laughs> race. <laughs> okay, and then I get a bonus with Jaden's plus one, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's a ten. So you, too, get one cool point and two options from the list. I am going to add an additional cool point for the team. And, uh, the sun melts away my worries, and I'm going to remove my insecure condition. Nice. Yes. Because uh, I'm looking pretty cool right now, so I'm feeling good. Great. <laughs> and you both end that slide with two cool points, so Karen is, of course, forced to say, like, hmm, very hard to judge who was the better there. You're very close. I think you need to go down a few more times. <laughs> Gladly. I think it's increasingly obvious to anyone that's paying attention that Valerie's clearly not worn this outfit, has maybe not been to a, a swimming or to a water park in a long time, and it gets to her turn, she's like, wait, was I was I supposed to take off my hat? Was I was I supposed to take off the sarong? I'm not supposed to wear these in the water, is it? And then after seeing Jaden and Angie go down, she just kind of starts to get competitive and goes, oh, screw it, and backs up. Well, as much as she can on little platform at the top of the slide. And then just as the attendant is, like, telling her absolutely not to do this, takes a running start and jumps into the slide. Oh, boy. Incredible. (laughs) 10 out of 10. (laughs) What stat do you think that is? Um, I think that's danger. I think she's (laughs) attacking this situation head on. Thought so. And that's a 7. All right, still a respectable one cool point and one option from the list. Uh, I'm going to take an additional cool point. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, so somehow, against all odds, Valerie goes down the slide in an incredibly cool way. Describe this. Uh, I think she doesn't transform, actually. She just, like, takes a running start and uh, jumps up so that her feet are still pointed down and um, rockets down the slide and around the loops and um, pushes herself off the end of the slide so she does like a flying jump off of the slide. I don't think there's any like, that doesn't get her very far but it does look cool coming out the end. (laughs) Yeah. 
Yeah, I think actually as you come down and splash down into the pool, it splashes enough water off of the side that you come down on that when you get up from under the water, you notice that you have splashed water on Ashley of Sagittaria. Ooh. Oh, even better. Ooh. <laughs> and I know we're not doing like mixed success with this move, but <laughs> with a seven, mm-hmm. I feel like it's warranted. That's fair. So, and she's uh, shooting you a death glare. And she's just going to be like, oh no, that totally sucks. And then she like puts her sunglasses back on. <laughs> I wore my best sun blouse for this. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. I can see how you would hate to get wet at a water park. Uh, and she stops for a second, like you've just caught her in like a logic loop, <laughs> like the math lady Jif. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're all standing there soaked. I think Angie has like her arm resting on Jaden's shoulder and she's just smirking at Ashley. She just loves that this happened. <laughs> Jaden is innocently <laughs> smiling. Well, and next time, watch how much you splash down. You might want to be careful where you step. And she glares at you again as she stomps off. Sorry. Bye. She kicks up a bit of sand as she goes. <laughs> ah, spoil sport. That was awesome. Yeah. You see her go over to the snack bar where Tyra and Cameron are. Well, that was a nice bonus. <laughs> that was so cool. Both of you went down that slide so fast. Wait. Wait, who's next? And we all look up. Oh, yeah. Queen Bee. She's taking a running start. And, uh, like, uh, there's uh, a few kids, right? And, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of them has uh, one of those uh, little, you know, those little floating boards. That oh, kids yeah. used to Ooh. learn to swim. Yeah, yeah Queen Bee is gonna take a running start, snatch the little board from the kids, <laughs> and try to use it like a skateboard down the slide. Oh my god. Yes. Skate the Infinity oh. Beach episode? Yeah. <laughs> we would turn it into this, would we? <laughs> Can't just go down a water slide normally. <laughs> no, no, she needs to step it up. You all went so well, so. The only question is is this a freak? to keep sticking to the mm. water board or is it a danger because she's pretty much standing on the water slide and that's a terrible idea. Mm. I will say I might have some interesting uh, flavor text for you if you choose Freak. Well, why not? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And I don't know if we can justify team with that. I don't even know how much team you have right now. I forgot Are to check. Are we allowed to... So. <laughs> Add like a cool point. <laughs> yeah, let's. It's, it's our made-up game. You can sacrifice one of your cool points and give it to a teammate if you want. I did put it in the team, but I'm just gonna add fireworks. Yeah, <laughs> so she's going down. <laughs> and it like says text like Queen Bee as she's going down, and it like follows her. Yeah, yeah, like maybe so maybe you can tell as Queen Bee's coming down that the board is not like holding as steady as Queen Bee would like, and this is not going to be a very graceful landing. So that you need something extra to pump up the landing. Yeah, exactly. And then like when she gets to the bottom, I'll just it'll just be even brighter fireworks, and it's all illusory, so it doesn't hurt anybody. So it's yeah. just it might <laughs> surprise people, but. There's probably some kids that are like, cool! Yeah, <laughs> you get kids <laughs> clapping and, and cheering like, yeah, that was so cool! <laughs> you also get Karen clapping and cheering, going, yeah, that was so cool! Pretty much, hit the water skidding. It's not very graceful, but most people are looking at the fireworks. Oh, and what is Lucia doing during all of this as she's watching everybody go down the slides? God, I think she's just like, kind of shaking her head but has a smile on her face because like they're all so ridiculous but they're also really cool (laughs) and she's by herself so she can do this (laughs) (laughs) Lucia as it turns out has zero cool points currently (laughs) yeah literally but you know what she has peace of mind (laughs) yes plus five peace of mind points oh I want to change that real quick Oh, oh. <laughs> violence. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I moved one of Angie's c- cool points over Perfect. to Queen P. Thanks for that. All right. So the standings of the cool points are Jaden 2, Angie 1, Valerie 2, and Queen B 1. <laughs> so who won? Who won, Karen? Hmm? 
You were pretty cool, Jaden, especially with the... with all the extra water. It was a big flourish. Angie was pretty cool. She came out real strong. But she made kind of a funny move when Queen Bee came out, so... Eh. Valerie, you were... you were very brave jumping down the way that you did. That was really cool. And Queen Bee, like, well... You can't argue with the fireworks. Mm. She goes over to Jaden and Valerie and raises up both of their hands <laughs> like at a wrestling match. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at the top of the slide, the attendant is like not letting any kids on until he lectures them all not to run, <laughs> not to, not to, for goodness sake, don't try to stand up during the slide. <laughs> yeah, there's attendants that are cleaning up the extra water that Jaden brought up to the top of the tower. <laughs> M- mopping it out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God, we're going to wreak so much havoc here. I didn't really think uh, about that. Wait. So, how are the levels of the wave pool? This is so important to me. <laughs> oh, I definitely took some water from the wave pool, for sure. That's <sighs> yeah. pretty close. It's it's on a pattern system, so, like, it, occasionally it'll just be flat water, and then it'll ramp up in intensity a little bit, and then it'll have, like, a brief period where they get real big before they die down again. Yeah, I think, like, everybody's kind of struggling with that, and Lucia is keeping her balance, quote-unquote, pretty well, using, like, trying to time the waves with her own, like, sort of luck, chaos, magic, like, okay, or powers of, like, okay, let me, if I, I'm gonna loosen it here, level it out here, but now I'm gonna let, raise them up so I don't go crashing, and I think it's perfectly fine until they start heading back and you just see Lucia get like <laughs> in her little inner tube get swept up on a wave <sighs> and just come crashing down really <laughs> brutal <laughs> Lucia are you okay? <sighs> Why do I feel like you have something to do with this? With what? She just points to the chaos of the water <laughs> I put it back <laughs> Uh, well did you win at least it was a tie i know that's right (laughs) she like goes over to valerie oh good good job it was a tie with me you tied with her (laughs) but good job to you too well i i mean we tied but he used powers so i'm i mean i'm just saying we did we did equally well and and he was using water magic Lucia just high fives Valerie. <laughs> that is a good point. I didn't realize we weren't going to use our powers. Everyone was transformed already, so I assumed. I mean, Valerie did that all on her own, though. So, like, yeah, and it was really, really cool. Yeah, so I feel like Valerie actually won. I think that's fair. Oh, yeah. what, you, you know, that's that's nice of you to say. I you do look really awesome. I think you're all pretty cool. Slow thumbs up. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Karen. Thank you. So, hot tubs? Hot tubs. Hot tubs. I kind of want to play some volleyball. Hmm. I could be up for that. Yeah. Lucia just gets this, like, big grin. We should definitely play volleyball. How are we going to pick teams? He's playing. Wait, he's playing. Have fun. I'm going to the hot tubs and she's putting her sunglasses on and she's got her hat back <laughs> and she's walking over to the hot tubs. I say, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go hang out in the hot tubs too. Have have fun with volleyball. Enjoy your soak. Have fun. Lucia like darts to Queen Bee's side, hooks an arm through her arm and is just like, "I'm on Bee's team." <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, um Karen, you're going to be on my team? Oh Absolutely. My God. <laughs> Wait, did I pick wrong? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nah. Hey there, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this... <laughs> this shit post of an episode. <laughs> No, that's not that's not fair. It's a, that's a bit of a lie. There, there is actually some stuff of substance coming up later on to make this worth your while. Um, but still, I think I think it's pretty clear that this was one of our favorite episodes to play, just like on a sheer fun level. So I really hope it's just as enjoyable for y'all out there to listen to in podcast land. <laughs> and I I just have one major announcement this time. 
a couple days after this episode goes up, it will be March. And you know what that means. That's right, it is time once again for March Masksness. Uh, if you don't remember March Masksness, or I, I don't think I even went over it that clearly last year outside of the special that we posted for it, but what it is basically is an annual crossover event hosted by the Protean City Comics podcast that pits characters from a bunch of different Masks actual play podcasts against each other in a tournament of super heroics. <laughs> uh, super Idols will, of course, be representing in the event again this year, and we will be competing with our main cast members of Elementum, Queen Bee, Trixie, Bane Raven, and Violence Violet, and our team was allotted one extra slot in the bracket again this year, so we will actually also be bringing Alice Kira's character, Castora, for the ride as well. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm very excited. I hope she does well. <laughs> anyway, the event itself is pretty simple. It's mainly centered around Twitter polls, where you get to vote on matchups between different superhero characters. So basically, like, who would win in a fight between Batman and Superman, except with, like, the teen heroes from all your favorite Masks podcasts. Uh, there will be some flavor text given about what the challenge is and information about the abilities of the contestants. And uh, you will get to decide who you think would win in that scenario. The winner of each Twitter poll then gets to move on to the next round of the tournament bracket. And there will be five total rounds over the course of March, which will lead to one hero being awarded a literal real-life trophy for the player... <laughs> created by friend of the Masksiverse, Scott Paladin, from Breathing Space, Fading Frontier. There are also a lot of fun side things happening around the event, including in-character Twitch streams hosted by Siobhan from Otherware, side brackets run by various other members of the Masks AP community, a commentary podcast hosted by Apex City called Power Dunk Super Sports, and of course, several shows will be producing their own crossover specials for the event. Most notably, there will be a special coming up on the Listen to These Nerds podcast in a few days, in which I got to play Karen as an actual player character. There is a full-on crossover musical that Tess from Moon Harbor Heroes has been working on for months and months and months. <laughs> Anyone who's been following the March Masks in a scene uh, knows how much work that she's been putting into that, so I'm really excited to hear that. And of course, we will be doing our own special this year as we did with the VV and Zero Degree special last year. The exact nature of this special, I will leave a mystery for now. As well as the exact release date, because that'll depend on when I can get that edited. <laughs> uh, but keep your ears peeled. Sometime this month, you'll you'll hear an, an extra an extra March Masks release. Look forward to it. This metal bit is not sounding great. My voice is very <laughs> strained this morning. Oh no. I hope that I hope that's okay. Don't make fun of me. Anyway. <laughs> If you're interested in following all this March Maskness goodness, you, you should be sure to follow at March Maskness on Twitter, and you can read up on the event and all the information on the bracket and whatnot at MarchMasksness.com. Go do that. Anyway, yes, I think I'll leave that there today. I won't do our usual Patreon plug, both because I think I'm losing my voice and because I'm a bit behind on Patreon posts right now, so I feel a bit bad advertising that when I haven't even given the content advertised yet, so... Hopefully I can catch up on that in the next few days here and be ready and back on track for that for next time. For now, I will just shout out our lovely $5 Patreon subscribers for this episode. Misty, T, Rowan B, Tanner S, Eric Kune, Chris T, Liv C, Jordan Cuttlefish, The Joiner, and Matthew F. Thank you all so much as always for supporting the show. And that is all from me for now. Be sure to check out this week's ad for our good friend podcast, Sword of Symphonies. And I'll talk to you again next episode. Hey, Kat. What are the spell pieces in this ad? Um, advertising, pandering, obligatory, and team. Then I want to use my piece, Honest, and cast Honest Advertising to tell people that Sword of Symphonies is an actual playtest campaign of the game that you made, starring us. Ooh, ooh, and I want to cast Charming Pandering and tell them how much fun we are to listen to. Ooh, or... Would that be Charming Team? I think I have a Charming Team, yes, Kirsten. Oh, Nick, do you want honest advertising to tell them that we have sort of a cozy horror vibe and that people can listen to us every Saturday? Oh, and before we do that, I'd like to add my spell piece music because I write everything in-house. 
Yeah, I love your music, Kathleen. And I think your sound work in general is top notch. So let's cast honest music advertising and charming team on the listener and invite them to join us on Sword of Symphonies. All right. So (laughs) the first thing I want to say before this gets started, I said I would have some interesting flavor text for Queen Bee. Um, I think as you're finishing up with the water slides and moving on to something else, B, I think you notice that there are some stray bees that have gotten into the building that are just kind of like following around behind you. Oh, no. <laughs> like you're not, you didn't call them to be there, but they're just kind of like hanging out. Well, it might have something to do with the beehive that is in my tote bag, like on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring an actual oh, bus my hive? God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I. <laughs> I kind of, I demanded that I ask for a tithe from the bees I employed during the camp hmm? to beef up my swarm back, back at home. <laughs> oh my god. Did you smuggle bees from the British Columbian wilderness out of the camp to take home with you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Also on brand, because I I do feel like water parks are always full of bees. That's yeah. true. true. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But anyway, uh, Queen Bee, those bees are supposed to be in your tote bag right now, but they are just kind of swirling around kind of behind you and following you wherever you go. Not like with intent. They're just kind of like hanging out. Well, I don't see any reason to worry about that. All right. So don't worry about it for now. <laughs> And as a lot of you are getting ready to do volleyball, let's take a short breather with Valerie and Angie as they go hang out in the hot tubs for a sec. Okay, so somehow we got the hot tub entirely to ourselves because it's a pretty dead day. So it was actually pretty Mm -hmm. easy. There was nobody there. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, it's like there's a kindergarten class here. That's why there's kids here. And then none of them are in the hot tub. And like everybody else is having fun on other parts of the park. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they probably just relax, you know, in silence for a while. But after a bit, Valerie works up the courage to say something that's been on her mind and says, um, Angie, um, but by the way, I wanted to say, uh, I'm sorry for not backing you up on Prophetess. I, oh, um... I mean, I, I just, I, you, you were right. That was really messed up. And I just kind of thought that was how being an idol is. And, I should have backed you up on telling her that was that was messed up. Maybe there are some parts of being an idol that might be like that, but I don't think that's right. Especially to, like, we're just teenagers and, like, what we're doing is probably going to be good for a future in entertainment, but I just don't think it means that these people can just do whatever they want to get us through the process, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've, I've also been thinking I, I should really apologize to, um, (sighs) look, when we first met, I was, I, I was kind of shitty because I, I thought that you had, you know, everything easy and i i had to i had to put up with a lot of training and conditions and things from rain shadow records when i signed on to be an idol and i thought this is really stupid but i thought you you had all of the things that i didn't have without signing that contract i you had fashionable clothes you had professional dance training you could just be a girl you had you had idle powers i and i that was that was that was unfair of me but you have vital powers i i didn't before i signed up with rain shadow they gave me my powers and if they don't think that I'm using them the way I should, if they don't think that I'm going to be the kind of idol they want, then um, then they can they can take that away and 
violence Violet and give those powers to someone else and whoever they want, they can, they can be violence Violet. And then I, do you think I could, I could still be here? Do you think I could be an idol if, if I didn't have my powers? Uh, fuck yeah, of course I do. Um, sorry, maybe that was a little intense, but, um, first of all, I just want to say that, like I said to Prophetess, we're not adults, and I think it's fucked up to do that to somebody, and there just seems to be a lot of, I don't know, companies, institutions, um, businesses, or whatever, that... I think they're doing things to us, people with powers, regardless of how we got them, that separate the people part of us, if that makes sense. Yeah. We're still people. We still have feelings. If somebody punches you, it still hurts. It just... I don't... So, you could probably tell... I used to be rich. Yeah. And you probably know, because everyone knows that my mom was arrested for embezzlement, and we don't have that money anymore. I wasn't going to bring it up, but yeah. Um, But basically... I obviously, at the beginning of all of this, wasn't 100% happy with my situation. Because having a lot of money, it turns out it does make things a lot easier. Truth is, I did have a lot of fashionable clothes. I did have professional training. I was slated to go to the best school in the province for artistic training, and that all went away. And... There's a lot more barriers to getting the same things that I wouldn't have had, had we still had all that money. But it seems like if my mom was able to do it, there's a lot of people that can do it without getting caught. And I mean, like, I don't know, like, gaming the system? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think... You're wrong for doing everything you can to follow your dreams, but I don't think Rain Shadow has your best interests, and there might be something or some situation or whatever where you have to make a choice, and I guess I just want to say that I was, I was a bitch too, and... I was jealous of you because it really seems like nothing phases you, you know? Like, I feel like I'm always so angry, and you just kind of take everything in stride, and there's all this fucked up stuff happening, and I don't know how to deal with it, and you always seem to be so cool. And you know, you're like really pretty, and you have a really cool sense of fashion and everything, and yeah. I think thank you that that means a lot but I think I I think I I just I take too much as just the way it is and try to try to figure out how to get the best advantage but when you when you get angry about things you're you're right it is fucked up and I'm just I'm really glad that you're on my side that you can call it out when something's wrong yeah uh, thanks. Um, she's feeling a bit awkward. <laughs> um, but I want you to know that, that you don't have to, that, um, and you don't have to tell me anymore, you know, if you don't want to, but if it feels wrong and they're trying to make you feel like you have to do it, they're probably fucking wrong and bad and trust yourself because whatever you're feeling is probably right and it's okay to say it and if there's ever a moment 
where you want to say those things and you need backup, you just let me know and tell me where to punch. Valerie, like, nods without saying anything and kind of sinks down into the hot tub so that most of her face is covered because that makes it easier to pretend she's not crying. Well, to to smooth over the transition to the next scene, um, (laughs) I think it's pretty clear you're both sharing um, vulnerability or weakness with each other. Mm -hmm. I could even hear, uh, Dana, you asked the specific question for your team move, or at least the equivalent Mm -hmm. for our campaign. Uh, Yes, when I share a vulnerability or weakness with someone, first I give them influence over me and ask if they honestly think there's hope for me. If they say yes, which which Angie did, mark potential or clear one box of your doom track. I'm going to mark potential. All right. Unfortunately, you did also talk about your stuff openly, so you will also mm-hmm. have to mark your doom track, and that fills up your doom track, I see. Yes, I'm going to take uh, another doom sign, and I'm going to take bolstered, which lets me mark my doom track to use an adult move one time. Ooh, fancy. Well, that's that's fitting, considering this this feels like a very like maturing conversation for the both of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and then T can shift my levels as they see fit, or as Angie sees fit. So I'm actually gonna shift freak down and mundane up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's because, at least from Angie's perspective, she's seeing probably Valerie, the human being, a lot more closely. Mm-hmm. And like the her ideas of Valerie, like they talk to each other just now, their ideas of each other, you know, are like admiration and rivalry and like, a, I don't know, frenemies situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, she sees her a lot more clearly now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, she's got a hit list of companies that she's building. And, like, <laughs> Under Crimson Signal is now Rain Shadow Records. Nice. <laughs> nice. The system's yeah. going down if she has to punch every single corporation. <laughs> and that that also makes sense because she just told Valerie, like, you can just be a person, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't have a specific question to ask for your team move, but you definitely shared some vulnerabilities of your own, so that definitely triggers um, your move as well. Oh, my move as Angie? Yes. Uh, it's a, Yours is just when you share a vulnerability or weakness with someone, you give them influence, and you get to hold two. Okay. And you get to spend that hold as if it were team in the pool. And I can just keep that hold indefinitely? Yeah, we did. There's precedent for it. We did that um, earlier in arc one, so <laughs> I okay. say yes. Okay, uh, sounds good. I'm not sure if that's how that's supposed to work, but again, because there's precedent for it, that's how we're gonna do it. Yeah, it's just I have to make sure that hold is specifically for Valerie. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's true. So you might want to make a note on your character sheet somewhere about that. Meanwhile, <laughs> we'll go back over and <laughs> play some beach volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden is doing some stretches. You know, you have to be nice and limber for this kind of sport. So he's stretching out his calves, arms, back. Just like very excitedly bouncing up and down, looking over the net at the other team, at his opponents for today. <laughs> oh, remind me, this is Lucia and Queen Bee versus Jaden and Karen, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Um, while, while Jaden is stretching, Lucia's gonna take this moment to snap some selfies with Queen Bee, cause, um, we look great. We do. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Fashion icons, the both of you. Yes, absolutely. Like, a little pink and yellow moment. Pink and white, yellow and black, you love to see it. <laughs> so. I think in the background of one of your selfies, uh, you can see in the foliage of the fake trees behind you, you can see a horse head. <laughs> it's made marvelous. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> and she's not doing anything sinister. She's just hanging out. <laughs> like, as a fool. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to get over this. <laughs> I mean, it's oh, the day boy. to do whatever fun thing you want. Clearly, this is fun for her. <laughs> 
I cannot believe. Do your thing. I cannot believe that Aaron was like, I'm going to craft and weave this beautiful story of teenage friendship and angst and (laughs) questioning identities and loving yourself and musical expression. And I'm also going to put an actual horse girl in this story. (laughs) (laughs) It's just... Just the way I do things. <laughs> incredible, incredible. <laughs> Lucia does turn around to like snap at her and then realizes, you know, she's just she's vibing. Well, yeah, she girl just snickers at you like <laughs> yeah. we're cool, we're cool. <laughs> yeah, I think she realizes that and just like turns oh, back yeah. around because okay. <laughs> do you think that Made Marvelous has to do a lot of vocal exercises um, before performance because otherwise she'd be a little hoarse. I... Oh, wow. Um, I cannot work under these conditions. I, I, did, I did not sign this contract. I'm going to take a power blow. Now we're in the small thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take a powerful blow for that one. Yeah. Drag the take person. Some. Take a tap a powerful blow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she has to, you know, she has to, she has to warm up. Otherwise she gets too excited and um, the rest of Sagittaria has to rein her in. <laughs> so... <laughs> I am disappointed. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I think well, I think she's day. munching a bowl of like they have like a vegan oat bowl or something like that. <laughs> she's got that. <laughs> Just an acai horse bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yes. So Jaden is even more of a disadvantage considering Made Marvelous is on <laughs> Queen B <laughs> and um, Lucia's side of the field. Uh, as they get set up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you get set up for beach volleyball. Um, <laughs> we probably won't play out the whole game, but give me some of the highlights. Um, Lucia's definitely set up a camera to catch some great shots. You know, just get like a basically make like a little compilation video for our, um, their idol gram. Very important. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I think in general, she's using her powers to try to influence the, like, probability of balls, like, being hit directly to her or so that she, like, in a way that she can perfectly um, set a ball up for uh, B to spike down. Um, I think she's also trying to influence like well okay for Jaden she's specifically trying to influence how often he gets the ball out because that is believable Jaden's very excitable but for Karen she is more influencing how likely it is for the ball to just barely miss Karen's fingers like her fingertips because that is also very believable and likely for Karen oh yes yeah it's extremely believable for her yeah, so that sounds like rolling fun in the sun with Freak. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Bam. It's at three. Ha ha ha. Oh. Okay, fun in the sun. That's a seven. Pretty good. Still pretty good. Mm-hmm, See, so you, mm-hmm. you get your cool point, and what o- option from the list would you like? He he he. Lucia's finally cool. <laughs> I know, right? I'm going to subtract <laughs> one cool point from Jaden. <laughs> wow! <laughs> carried over from the previous one. Hehehe. <laughs> okay, so I still keep my cool points from the previous game, or is it just I start with zero again with this? No, I'm How gonna carry work? them over for the whole session. <laughs> but okay, technically, cool, cool, cool. also, B and I are on a team, so we have three points altogether. Oh yeah, I have you as two. We're... Queen B only has one. Yeah, oh, B okay, only has mind. one. Two, 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 two. Yeah, but still. <laughs> Um, I'm also going to be using my powers and it's going to be stuff like whenever I set the ball for Karen and I see it might be a bit off I might blow a, a little gust of wind to raise the ball a bit higher or knock it a bit lower for um, her to get a good hit in and also essentially like make a little gentle gust of wind as well to knock it away from if I see that Lucia or Queen Bee are getting close to um, saving it kind of knocks it just out of their reach I'd also probably use occasionally use my um, earth power to like just give Karen a little step up whenever she's about to <laughs> um, go for like a hard smash down. Also, whenever he's about to go for a hit, he's gonna like 
heavily just dump, like when he dumps the ball instead of like goes for a proper um, hit, when he dumps it, he just speeds down the fall again with by blowing a gust of wind down <laughs> oh at <God>. it. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what stat this is. <laughs> I wonder. It's never going to be a thing where he's directly um, influencing the other team. It's always just going to be the ball or Karen. Okay. Yeah, Karen certainly appreciates it because she is far from the most athletic person and she really does need the boost to like <laughs> get her arms up high enough to get the ball sometimes. Yeah. Okay, let's see. My luck isn't great. Wow, a seven as well. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Cool. Head to head. Hmm. Let me think. I get my cool point and get to choose one more, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get another cool point. So I'm up to three now. All right. <laughs> Jaden is officially the coolest person on the sand court. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> and he's carrying the team because Karen perpetually has zero cool points. <laughs> <sighs> like I said at the beginning of the show, a, a helium balloon that is still rising despite losing it. <laughs> 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 oh, Boise. Um, All right. Let's let Queen Bee take a move. Okay. Queen Bee, uh, she's playing pretty aggressively. And uh, in a moment between uh, serves, she takes uh, Lucia aside. Okay. So, you ever played pinball? Yeah. When I give you the sign. Multiple. Oh. Okay, yeah. Okay. Ooh. The plan is uh, I'm gonna try and serve, and in me there, the ball is gonna multiply mm -hmm. to distract them. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and if by any miracle they manage to get it, I'm gonna try to do a full uh, Azula stand on the net dunk. <laughs> yes. Is this like making another ball out of beeswax or something? Oh, no, no, just uh, the illusory, like, Trixie is going to make some... Oh, Trixie's uh, going to do it. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, more sense. It's a team-up move. Yes. Would that be... Let's see. I guess maybe it's a superior, or... Yeah, because you planned this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lucky yeah. sevens. Three sevens in a row. Seven. Congratulations, you all won the... Lottery. Um, whoever's out there, this is a sign. Your angel number is seven. I hope this resonates with you. I hope <laughs> you get something from this. <laughs> if you're trying to get into a volleyball team, this is your sign. Just, just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Crying. Um, yeah, right, so that's so a seven. Queenie gets a cool point. And what would you like from the list? Hmm. I'm going to subtract the cool point from Jaden. <laughs> Ow, wow, okay. <laughs> um, Lucia like sneaks a little like down low high five to <laughs> Queen B. <laughs> so, describe how this goes. Okay, so Queen B starts the serve and as she hits the ball, two more appears and they just start going in three different directions. Jaden goes for one and it gets it wrong. It's nothing but air. Karen, on the other hand, she's tricky. She finds the right ball, but when she tries to spike it, Queen Bee jumps on the net and just gives like a... Is it called like a rabbit punch when you just... or a hammer punch when you just lock hands and you just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like just do the ultimate shutdown. You become the ultimate wall. Exactly. <laughs> and just slam it down. And Karen just kind of stops at the net with her fingers on, like, the top of the net, like, Oh, good job. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I can't take all the credit. Yeah, you look back and Lucia's, like, standing in the same pose as B, <laughs> but, like, on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. Lucia, the way you multiply those balls, I, I, I didn't know which one to go for. Yeah, I know. Karen, I, how did you know which one to go to? I I just kind of you know I I had a feeling like one of them looked more real. I kind of that was that was fun. I mean, actually, you know what? There's something I gotta tell you guys after we're done today. We got we can talk about it later. It's it. <laughs> let's just keep playing for now. Okay. Oh sure. Okay. Anytime. Yeah. B, you you know it's that thing. The thing that we uh, that we talked about. Yeah, the thing I know. about. Don't worry. 
Well, I'm excited to hear about this thing. It certainly is a, a thing, that's for sure. Well, while we figure out that thing, um, whose serve is it? Me. Mine. I'll do it. Hold on. <laughs> 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 All right, and I think you, you play a few more rounds of this. I'm going to have everybody, you know, lightning round. Everybody roll fun in the sun all at once. <laughs> Whoever gets okay. the highest number okay. wins. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, yeah, I have a question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can I get burn? <gasps> oh, no! I think so. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it's unfair, but I say yes. If you want to cheat I'm, that bad. <laughs> I mean, Karen has on roads. They have dig at two rows. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Don't so worry. I'm going <laughs> to... This one is going to be great. I don't know why I rolled. Oh, my roll. God. Wow. What? Hello? Oh, oh you got a 12 damn. On your okay. Burn. So I got three. I got three burn. That's great. That's perfect. And no consequences. No consequences, which is great because I already have two conditions right now. I don't need any more. Um, oh, I know what to do. I am going to take a page out of Lucia's book and also make mm. multiple boards with the move construct. <laughs> so I'm gonna, when, I, when I go to um, hit the ball, the rule ball and two balls made of sand, the rule ball is suddenly coated in sand and two balls that are made of sand look, that look identical now appear and they both go down towards Lucia specifically. Can I... <laughs> is there like um, can I save myself hello <laughs> I mean I might not roll great so let's see oh no oh, oh no oh, do you still have to roll for construct oh not for construct but I assume we're still doing fun in the sun right oh this is still for fun in the sun okay <laughs> oh cause yes. it goes with burn Oh, yeah, okay, what, what I got you. Is, is fine. Yeah. I misread oh your 12 God. for burn. Okay, I, I know good. exactly how this goes, too. <laughs> oh, wait, can I bomb this up to a 7 by using my influence on Lucille since I'm... <laughs> I'm oh, yes, yeah! <laughs> yes, you can! <laughs> yeah, so I think... I see Lucille as an idol. Like, she's my role model. Um, that oh, was really my. cool. And I want to I wanna be able to make the exact same thing with my powers. <laughs> so I'm trying to... I'm just <laughs> doing exactly what she did and trying to mimic that with my power set instead. So okay, I bomb that to good. a 7. <laughs> All right, so you get, you get your one cool point because that was extremely cool. <laughs> um, yes, I get one cool point, and hmm, I'm going to subtract the cool point from Lucia. I just get hit in the face and covered in sand. <laughs> Some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lucia just like wipes the sand off of her face and just glares right at you. <laughs> And Daniel's like so excited. Like he's like, "What did you think? That was great, right?" Like he's kind of looking at you. Like he's waiting for an, for some kind of approval. You got sand in my bathing suit, Jaden. Sorry. <laughs> she picks up the ball, and as she like lifts it up from the one end of the back of the court to the other, just. Whoosh, multiple Lucios all standing there, <laughs> angry and covered in sand, holding the ball. And they all, in unison, lift up to serve and um, go to strike down. Because if somebody's, somebody has to show Jaden how it's actually done. <laughs> <laughs> um, just an army of Lucias all jump up like full ridiculous high Q <laughs> jumping <laughs> spiking moment <laughs> yes <laughs> wow. um and all of the balls come like rushing at you and as the sun fall, like flickers through the glass ceiling of this building they reflect and one of the ways that you can tell if like, Lucia has a um, illusion is that they won't reflect shadow, obviously. But as these balls all start to reflect that like prismatic light, like when a light crystal gets hit by sun, they all are flashing that like rainbow color. You realize that they all have shadows. And they're Ooh. all hard oh. light volleyballs coming down at you. Oh. <laughs> so dope. <laughs> Yes! Oh, damn, you really did. You really I... did show Jason how it's done. I rolled that a was 13. A 13. 
I'm going to gain an additional cool point from me and my team, and I'm going to subtract. Uh, so that's two points, and I'm taking yep. a point away from Jade. <laughs> <laughs> I think as this happens, I think uh, Karen pulls up one of those like tiny cartoon umbrellas like you'd see in a Warner Brothers cartoon as they all come <laughs> crashing down towards their side of the court. <laughs> Jaden is just looking like in absolute awe. Yeah, I mean, they shatter like glass, but they're not glass, so the light fades. But um, <laughs> the ball is just sitting there halfway buried in the sand. <laughs> um I don't know volleyball rules. Wherever would get them a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just on the court would get you a point. So that's how that works. Okay, cool. Perfect. I thought so, but I was like, <laughs> just in case I'm wrong, let me not say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. That was so cool. <sighs> as much as I would like to let Queen Bee get another turn in, I feel like this oh, is no, the perfect that, place that to, end perfect this, end. to end this oh, match. Yes. <laughs> Especially because you just ended this match with all three of you having two cool points. No! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I mean, your team still wins because um, Karen has yeah. zero team uh, cool points. But That's very true. That's very true. Yeah. But Karen also has the advantage of doubling as the referee and declares the match a tie. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Lucia just stomps back to go sunbathing <laughs> inside this water yeah, that park. Is, that, that's biased. <laughs> Jaden's going to be following Lucia, just just talking about how cool that was. <laughs> Lucia's probably not listening, but he's just babbling. Literally not <laughs> hearing a word. <laughs> uh, Queen Bee is going to pat uh, Lucia on the shoulder. Good job, half pint. And uh, she's going <laughs> to go looking for Rosette. Alright. Now she's smiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Rosette hasn't moved from her spot. Um, but you do as you head away from your volleyball area, you catch her uh, looking. She's clearly been watching and tries to make like she wasn't watching by moving the book up a little closer to her face. <laughs> Quindy is just gonna stroll casually her way. She pretends not to notice you. <laughs> well then I'm gonna get really close and with one finger I'm gonna Slightly lower her book. She raises an eyebrow at you. Well, if it isn't Dame Divine herself. Oh, you noticed. Hi. Can I help you? Well, yes. You see, you're the one who knocked me out. Hmm. One of my prouder moments, too. What of it? Well, I just think I owe you some. Oh, how generous. Reach out my hand. My respects. She raises an eyebrow, looking slightly dubiously at your hand. There's no bees in my hand. You can shake it. Um, and she gingerly reaches out to take it, but then pulls her hand back and says, Now, why ever should I accept them? Let's say. Because you and your group, let's say, not the biggest fans of how things ended for us the last couple times we've seen each other. Oh, come on. That's just idle business. Blake and Violet, they, they enjoy the little feuds. Me? I'm more professional. I went after you because I thought you were soft. Boy, was I wrong? And she sighs and lowers her book a bit. I guess I... I don't... I don't hold it against you for being idols and doing idol stuff. Like, we're both just doing our best, yeah, but I don't know. After what happened with Diana, like, you really, you really don't know how badly she wanted that to work out, do you? I wish I could tell you I'm sorry, but all I can say is that you were fighting for your friend, and I was fighting for mine. That's, that is true. Um, and I, I really wanted to do my best by her, She's she's a little rough, I'll admit, and that's I'm trying to help her work on that, but she's also just really, really passionate, too. Like, I, I know you haven't seen her much outside of intense confrontations, but I don't know, I she's really 
kind of fun to work with too once you see like once she gets in like the zone and it really gets into the work and the training and the motions and like you can see just how much she enjoys it well i i do hope i can i'll get to see her again in action i mean i hope so too we haven't really seen much of her since the show really like she got in some major trouble for attacking an untransformed person at that show. Like, she's been suspended. She hasn't really been at school much. I've tried to keep in touch, but she's been she's been pretty quiet. Well, it's a shame, really. I think she was a good leader for your team. I did, too. And it, you can see, actually, if you, you look close enough, that she's blushing a bit as she talks about Diana. I mean, don't get me wrong, Tyra certainly has presence, and she has heaps of style. In our little conversation, she showed that. But, well, I have no love for you, Archer friend. But I think she would never shoot one of her own in the back. With Tyra, not so sure. It's, yeah, no. She looks to make sure that Tyra isn't looking, and actually you see that she has, like, a back scratcher type thing sitting next to the chair next to her, and she actually picks it up and waves it around in a circle around and behind her. And she says, sorry, I had to check. Um, Cameron, <sighs> Cameron has invisibility powers. I wanted to make sure he's not like listening to us. Um, seems to be okay. Anyway, um, I'll tell you, I'm not the biggest Tyra fan myself. And I definitely believe she would stab us in the back if she had a reason to. Well, that's... that doesn't sound conductive to a healthy environment to me. One might even wonder why she, is she in charge. Mm, sad fact is she's got the numbers to back her up. She's been the president for the last few years that she's been at the school, and every single year our club has placed real high in SingStar and in other events, and she's... a hyper organized she does all the admin work that nobody wants to do so that's kind of another f factor for that um <laughs> but yeah no that the others are especially like ashley and and clarissa and them they they want to make sure they win so they they want to go with whoever they think will do that for them mm. a little naive but i understand mm -hmm. yeah no i i hope that Diana can come back at some point and just be a member of the club, but I don't know if it'll ever really feel the same. I don't know why I'm sharing all this with you. I'm st I'm sorry. I don't really have many other people in the club to talk to it about, I guess. Oh, well, I mean, we danced. That kind of thing gives you a little connection. I mean, you took my best shot and kept taking. <laughs> she chuckles a bit. I'll, I'll admit, if it, it I said it was one of my finest moments to knock you off the stage. It it did feel pretty damn good to be the only one to knock one of you, you, <laughs> you powerhouses, I guess, off of the stupid stage. I mean, it took the big gun to take you down. That was impressive. I mean, I hope you got some kudos for that. Oh yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> thank God for idol forms. Like that's I I would be a pancake for sure. Otherwise, um, and I had. Headaches for days. God. <laughs> well, maybe this is premature, but, you know, high school is not going to last forever, and... Uh, God, I hope not. <laughs> I'm thinking about my image, my brand. And I think a good heel might need uh, a foil. And she raises an eyebrow again. So if at any time you feel like uh, having a public rematch, you all pure and righteous, me, just wicked and mean, I think it could work. I think I might take you up on that sometime. And at that point, she does extend her hand to you. I shake it. Well, I'll be going. Don't want to get you into trouble with your boss. But just remember, with Crystal, all it takes is one crack. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, thanks. And Queen Bee just strolls by and gets a drink on the way back. <laughs> Just a little light undermining. <laughs> All right, I I think we haven't we haven't heard from um, 
Angie and Valerie in a while. How, how are they doing? I think they've been in the hot tub for quite a while. They probably should get out. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you want to go get a smoothie? Yeah. 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 Okay. And she's kind of fanning herself. <laughs> she's getting out of it. <laughs> yeah. I was going to like, I, I didn't realize that the hot tub could make you feel dehydrated. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Oh, my hands are all pruney. Anyway. Well, hopefully the others haven't killed each other while we were gone. Do we see any chaos when we look over? <laughs> um, <laughs> what do they see? Oh, what do they see? Um, Send castles. Yeah, I'm down with that. Bearing yeah. jaded. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm down for that. <laughs> Bearing Jaden and abandoning him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the sand guardian guardian of the sand <laughs> please tell me she's doing that to him yes <laughs> sure and when she walks away he's like Lysia are you gonna are you gonna dig me out Lysia Lysia where are you, where are you going Lysia Lysia she just like looks back like <laughs> pushing her sunglasses up you have earth powers and turns and keeps walking <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Karen plants her little umbrella on the top of Jaden's sand mound. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Can't take us anywhere. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, so we see that happening. And then I turn to Valerie and I shrug and I'm like, they seem fine. And then we just keep walking to the... <laughs> yeah, to, to get smoothies. <laughs> yeah. so much for listening to Super Idols RPG, and thanks to the wonderful cast of today's episode. Valerie slash Violence Violet was played by Dane Alexa, who can be found on Twitter at AuthorX. Angie slash Bane Raven was played by T. Jaden slash Elementum was played by Drac, who can be found on Twitter at Draconix. Alan slash Queen Bee was played by Luca, who can be found on Twitter at Queen Bee. 15160871. Lucia slash Trixie was played by Liv Chavez, who can be found on Twitter at Live in a Day. Dialogue and cleanup editing was done by Kathleen Childs, whose work can be found on the Sword of Symphonies podcast at peachgardengames.com. GMing, final editing, and mastering for this episode was done by me, Aaron Cerise. You can find me on Twitter and YouTube at Aaron Cerise, and you can find more information and art for Super Idols on our website at superidolsrpg.wordpress.com. This campaign is played using Masks, a new generation, written by Brendan Conway and published by Magpie Games, with custom moves by Aaron Cerise and Zach P. Our opening theme is Le Chevalier Noir Instrumental by Cyborg Jeff, and is under license from Jumendo Music. Our ending theme is Born to Drive Me Crazy Instrumental by Humans Win, and is under license from Storyblocks.com. All other incidental music and sound effects for this episode are licensed from storyblocks.com and freesound.org, with the exception of the World Water Park background noise from Cloud 7 Travel. Thank you all for listening, stay well, and goodbye until next time! Be gay! Roll dice! an LGBTQIA actual play podcast network.